Imo to suspend further probe of ex governor Okoracha. <laughs> now, wow. Hi, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to this channel for more updates like this. The Imo state government has assured the Federal High Court in Abuja that the state will not proceed further with the probe of the former governor of the state, Senator Rochas Okoracha, over alleged financial infrastructure. The undertaking was given by the state attorney general, C.O.C. Akolisa, before Justice Ahmed Muhammad during the hearing in the suit filed by the former governor against the multiple probe panels constituted against it by the Imo state government. Counsel to the state attorney general and other defendant, Mr. J. M. Madu, took the decision so as to prevent the court from granting an oral application by Korach, by Okorocha's counsel, Chief Oba Madabuchi San, for a restraining order against the ongoing investigation of his client. So what you people are trying <laughs> now wow what you people are trying to tell me is that all the money that Ihedio has said if they are missing that they, they, they started during Rochas Okorocha's tenure so you people want to now close the case because it has touched your own dear Rochas APC Rochas can you imagine what will it take that makes the court to order Imo state people to suspend the, the further probe of ex-governor Rocha Sokorosha, knowing the amount of money that is being at stake. Godfatherism. Godfatherism is the problem we are having in this country. Even the people that should suffer for their doings, they are not suffering. But the just are suffering. The masses are suffering. The poor citizens are suffering. Richard Sokorosha, a lot of money was misplaced during your, during your tenure as the governor in Imo State. And now they want to cover it for you. Your people want to cover it for you. Because yes, you are one of them. You are paying their loyalty to them. And they don't need to cast you until they wish to. If they wish to now, they will still dig out this your case. If not, what will it take Imo State from probing you at least to know the truth? But now everything is on the head of Ihedio. Ha! Injustice. This is to tell you that the, in, in the other way around, this government is encouraging their people, the people dancing to their music, the people that are doing what they wish, they, 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 they are encouraging them. To, 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 to just embezzle funds as much as they can and nothing will be done about it. Can you imagine what 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 a country? They said Justice Mohammed in his ruling held that since counsel to the Attorney General of the state and the probe panel had had the undertaking to tell his clients not to proceed with further investigation, there will be no need granting a restraining order. Mada Abuchi had argued that since the defense counsel asked for an adjournment to respond to the process served on them, the court should make an order stopping the parties in the suit from going ahead with the probe pending the determination of the matter. Though counsel to the first to the first defendant, EFCC was not in court. Counsel to the second 48th defendant, J. M. Mado, quickly interjected that the probe panel had not commenced sitting. Madu therefore undertook to inform the Attorney General of Imo State about the court development and would urge them to, to, to respect the court not to begin set sitting until the suit was determined. Justice Mohammed then held that it would be of no use to grant a restraining order since Madu had undertaken to tell the parties not to go ahead with the probe pending when the matter will be determined. Hi! The judge held that since the EFCC was not represented in the court to hear its side of the story, it would be unfair to grant the request in the interest of justice. 
Can you imagine? Okay. What will make EFCC not to be present in the court, if not a planned deal? What will make them? Do you know how many workforce EFCC controls? And a, a, a case as this, they are not in the court for the hearing. <laughs> you people are just you people are just making joke out of this country. Mother Abuchi told the court that even the EFCC was duly served. It was not represented in the court. Can you imagine? They know, but they were not there. He said the matter was for the originating motion to be heard and that all the defendants had been served with all processes, including the original motion. I am prepared to move the motion. We have the motion dated May, 2000, May 28, restraining the respondent from probing or continuing to probe the activities of Imo state government between 2011 and 2019, he said. How? Sorry. My people, sorry. So this is how they succeeded in stopping the probing that should be carried out on a on a on a on a Rocha Sukorocha to really determine who has the money or who spent the money that makes the pensioners of Imo State to be going hungry. It's a pitiable situation that even justice sometimes we don't see it. How can this be, be as in how can in fact this is so sad that I don't know what to say again. Let me just review what people are saying to this effect. Somebody say, sorry, you the court now gives immunity to loot the state dry. But then that is asking the same question. The same question. Who should be probed? They said they, they said that they, they, they should not probe him. I don't know. That means immunity to loot the state dry. That is it. Somebody has say miscarriage of justice. Hope can also loot money as he likes. Oh, Hope can loot money as he likes. And they will tell us stories. EFCC did not come to court. Uh, this one did not come. Uh, instead of the uh, no need again, the state government said, can you imagine? Please, Governor Hope, don't follow the way of Ihedioha. Focus on your three agendas, okay? Rochas is all over all the social media celebrating his victory. Emeka Ihedioha should his face, if possible, Jakpa from the state. <laughs> Imu. Imu is now free from all looting. Is APC in Imu backing crime as well? backing out from tracking executive crimes in the state. If you ask me, oh, now who I go ask? So a lot of people are reacting to this because I don't know how, as in, this is possible. The people that should go into thorough investigation to know what is going on, look at what they are saying. Okay, the EFCC head office is here in Abuja. He argued that the same chief judge who made the circular, which he had not signed and who had the constitutional power of the assigning case, was the person that assigned the case to the court. The lawyer stated that Justice Tusho, who Madu said issued the circular, was aware of the circular before he assigned the matter. I urge you, my lord, to dismiss this application, he said. Justice Muhammad, after taking their arguments, said Madu should file a formal application for the case transfer. According to him, I cannot leave the first defendant in taking the decision. There should be fair hearing on this matter. Ah. Sorry, my people. This is the way it is. After everything... No more probing of Okorocha, at least for now, because of uh, his connection or maybe something else that we don't know about. Anyway, let us hear your own view. What do you think about this? Share your view in the comment section. Thank you for watching and make sure you are safe. Observe social distancing because COVID-19 is so real. Keep yourself safe. Keep your environment safe. Keep your family safe. Keep the world safe. Thank you for watching and bye for now.